live yet again on Gandrel Studios. Can you say it? Gandrel, Gandrel. I'm just kidding. Anyways, enough of that intro. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, not an ostrich actually requested this one, so we're going to go again this morning. And while I am extremely tired this morning, it, I will try to make the best RimWorld experience possible. Don't know half of what I'm doing, but know this. I am only here to make sure that everything goes perfectly under control, regardless of the antics of Not an Ostrich. Now, shall I make a tribe today? Should I just go regular? Should I be single? No, no, we shouldn't be single. Single player, uh, single colony stuff is, is only plausible if, you know, you're good at this game, and I am not good at this game. I'm just... There, I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy who can't say no. Anyways, um, thank you for coming to this channel. If you like the videos that you are seeing, if you like what you are watching, please support this channel by subscribing or following on either twitch.tv slash gen underscore dro or on YouTube, which I am on both. And while I say this all the time and I say it every stream, it is imperative that if you like it, Please follow and subscribe. It helps support me to make more content for you. Because, honestly, that's all I need. I'm not even asking for any money. I don't want your money. I just want your views. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on RimWorld. And get, uh, get moving. Woo! Now, let us see... Not an ostrich said he wanted to uh, wanted me to stream this again, but uh, knowing him, it's a 50-50 a chance he'll be here or he won't. Which is fine either way. I'm not mad about it. I just want to get home with my stream. Alright. Nothing like when I first start a stream. And there's nobody here to watch me do my intro. The intro is mostly for you YouTubers. Just letting you know. It's a special little thank you for coming by and watching and giving me all the things. Oh, and a shout out to Mr. Squeaky who has uh, also asked me to name one of his characters and asked, not an ostrich, to uh, do whatever he wants with him. <laughs> Mr. Squeaky, asking not an ostrich to do whatever he wants with your name is a risky procedure, but... I will oblige, and as soon as he shows up, I will let him know that one of the subscribers on YouTube wants him to go nuts. <laughs> All right, uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I don't even know what I want to do right now. We should make a new colony. We did Cannibalist last time. Um, unfortunately, Rich Explorer Naked Brutality is out, so we're going to go Crash Landed. Um... I, I do like having a tribe of people. That's always fun. But we're going to go ahead and do our normal. Um, and because Randy Random murdered my colony, we're going to go with him again. Thank you. And then we're going to go Mountain Base Crash Landed. What's Mountain Base Crash Landed? What... What exactly are we talking? I don't see anything here. Is it scenario editing? Edit mode? Oh, you want to make a mountain base crash land. Okay, so we're going to do crash land, and you want me to make a mountain base. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I was actually interested in, uh, in doing that. We'll just have a bunch of people go ahead and mine. Um... Experienced strategy gamers on their first game. Okay, uh, we could do that. We can we can crash land in the mountain. Um, what should we do? Should we do peaceful community builder adventure story? How how are we gonna go about this? Yeah, good point. We can do community builder. It's always fun to actually have some breathing room because we're trying to do shit today. If we wanted to suffer, we would suffer. Oh, wait. Reload any time. There we go. Uh, 
What kind of uh, seed should we do? I don't really think it matters what seed we should do. Fuck it. Go. Random seed, ahoy! Now, this is the mountain area, right? Or is this the mountain area? Or is this desert? Or is this mountain? What is mountain? What is love, love, baby, don't hurt me. There's desert. Boreal forest. <laughs> like, <laughs> Not an ostrich, you're late. Ah, oh, jeez. You're the one who wanted me to stream this today. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Bro. Bro. Oh, there it is. So it would be the tundra, right? Caves. Special feature caves. You you should. By the way, one of my YouTube viewers wanted you to punish him with his character in the game. He wanted you to punish him today. I, I don't know. His name is Mr. Squeaky. <laughs> so he wanted you to punish his ass royally it says mountains uh well there's there's two there's an enemy here and a neutral here i guess that we can do that tundra 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 would they be these dark spots it's like impassable terrain the one I found has caves, right? Are these the rocky tiles then? Like these, uh, these part right here, marble, granite, sand sandstone. <clears throat> Can we do that in like any area? Like. Would this be also mountains and stuff? The terrain says impassable. Oh, okay. What is this? A board? Oh, wow. Well, I think these dark spots are the, uh, the the caves, right? Pretty sure those big black spots are. Oh wait, there it is, mountainous. Found it. Found a mountainous on a boreal forest. We found it. Yes. We have uh, on here. We have a hostel, another hostel. Another hostel. Another hostel. Oh, it's it's looking a little uh, hostile over here. Um, these are usually the ones that are like zero neutrality, so we can we can go here. Impassable, passable. We're looking for mountainous. Bucket. We'll do it here. Oh, that's really close to them. They might not like me. Let's see if I can find another place. <clears throat> granite and marble. Uh, marble and granite, impassable, impassable, impassable. Mountainous. Okay, so we can do mountainous on these. You said marble and... are actually not very nice. These are the nice ones. But we want these guys. I used um I used slate and it had a pretty decent um large hills mountain limestone marble and slate Marble and slate. Granite and marble. And we do it right next to there. So they shouldn't be too upset if I moved it here, right? Oh, they got mad. 
They're like, bitch, don't you fucking move over here. Marble and landstone. Slate, limestone, and marble. <clears throat> Slate, marble, and granite. <laughs> Did you read the comment? <laughs> yeah, he he said he wanted he wanted you to be a slave. I think it's like in the middle because slate usually got me pretty good. Uh, they said that it was rich looking. I guess. Well, I mean, what do you expect on an ostrich? Everybody wants you to be a slave. All right, so this guy, we're starting off good already. This one's like a, a fire 13 on mining, a fire th uh, 12 on construction, and a 15 fire on shooting. That's actually, wait, no, that's not him. He's just a miner. Well, he's actually pretty good. He's not too horrible. I think that's a good one. Uh, it looks like he has artery blockage. So, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Wiki stone! I'll, I'll take a look at it. Let's see what this is. No more hard labor for old people. <laughs> hey, we can do this. We, we can, we can, uh... Yeah, let's, let's go to what you showed me here. Materials, comparison table. Beauty offset, marble blocks has a one, and jade has a ten. You can make jade? Not capable of violence. This is bullshit. Whole body, smoke leaf dependent. Fuck that. We don't any, need any more druggies in here. Well, that's not too bad. He's a cannibal, though. You know what? We'll take it. It's not too bad of a stat. So should I shoot for that? Or should I just... <clears throat> I just got a lucky uh, draw and we should just go with that. Granite has a beauty factor of 1. Limestone has a beauty factor of 1. Marble blocks have a uh, 1.35. Sandstone 1.1. Slate blocks 1.1. And Jade has 2.5. Okay, so... Slate is a little bit more beautiful than Granite. I, I thought so. I thought it was in between. Because when I built... I built... I literally, I built one out of just straight up Slate. Because Slate's everywhere. Yeah, Kish is damn good. And I guess uh, has no need to experience outdoors or light. He'll never feel cooped up or cabin fever no matter how long he stays inside. And is not bothered by darkness. All right. Uh, wow. Should I just make them all violent people who shoot things? <laughs> uh, I don't want you to have family. Ew. Gross. No, I, I think I already have keys for shooting in melee. Alright, um, HP, HP. What chart is that? Work to build, beauty offset, market value. It doesn't have HP on this one. It just has the flammability factor. It has to be, uh, and... Sandstone's supposed to be pr pretty uh, strong to work with, or fast to work with. Slate blocks are easier to carry. Limestone's easier to build with. Marble's the most beautiful. Granite is the strongest of all stone blocks and is uh, best suited to build walls in the fighting area. Okay. All pretty good. I mean... 
<laughs> Mining building is a goof combo. What's a goof? A uh, <laughs> goof. I should do, I should do a RimWorld series. It's better for YouTube. I mean, I guess i Dude, I just play stuff because I enjoy playing. I don't play stuff because I want to be super popular. Although it does help. All right. Apparently, this person is social and intellectual. Get over your crippling feel of uh, fear of a commitment. Motherfucker, I'm married. <laughs> what the fuck you mean? Am I scared of commitment? You you know that that hurts my feelings. All right, uh, you said mining and building. So construction and mining is actually. So maybe marble, if, if, cause you, you basically say insulating it with two walls is the best thing. So marble on the inside, uh, granite on the outside kind of deal. When I'm building bases. Is the best builder slash miner going to be me? Closest thing to a slave? Yes. We're going to make you like passive as fuck. You can't like fight nobody. Come on, mining and construction. There we go. We'll make you a girl. With a little bite scar. Make you dumb. Wait, wait, hold on. I got disconnected from chat on here. This is horseshit. How dare they get disconnected just because I went and checked the link. You bitches. Walls send. Why would they uh, disconnect me from chat, those bitches? How fucking dare they? <laughs> Who disconnected me from chat? Was it you, not an ostrich? Did you guys disconnect me from chat? How mean are we talking here? There we go. <laughs> Double wall, your, okay, yeah. Why the kitchen? I thought it was the, the storage room that needed to be double walled. Yeah, that's the only thing that uh, that works out, but at least it'll be a good guard. Kish is really good. I think we'll keep Kish as a, a warden, at the very least. Uh, let's, well, it's, yeah, because Kish is social, so he can be the uh, best warden. The best boy. And then Sophie can be, you know, wait, hold on. Mind is like a psychic tuning fork. She's extremely sensitive to psychic phenomena. Ooh. Gorman, life's around, gets really hungry. No, I don't want this. Fuck that. We don't want you to eat all my food. Now I need a doctor? Give me construction and mining. Mining and cooking. Oh, God. Did you see that last stat? That was awful. Fucking worthless. More worthless. Seems like the more I randomize, the more shittier it gets. Come on. All right. We got something here. Not the prosthetic leg. Does the prosthetic leg actually cause any issues?
Well, yeah, but it's not a bad pawn because that, uh, like, the fire usually means that they'll learn it quicker. So, you know, it's a work in progress. Plus, they like animals. And they're social. The only thing I could see negative is the prosthetic. No, because the other one that we were looking at had, like, uh, psychic sensitivity. And sometimes those stupid little psychic things come in and fuck everything up. Oh, that might not be good if I'm hauling, but for mainly in constru uh, construction and mining, that's not too bad, I guess. Just can't have her hauling around big, heavy rock. Well, yeah, that that's not going to work. It's not going to work. We need... Whoa. Not cataracts. No health conditions. Too smart. Oh, she, her mental break threshold is awful. All right, kind. So she's not going to fight anybody. Greedy. Pass. <laughs> Damn, dude, you, you really don't want to go through uh, all that shit. That's true. We could do that. But not an ostrich wants a character he can relate to. We should just make your character study all the time. I mean, because that's all you ever do anyway. Not an ostrich. Come on. Fair. Fair. I believe that you have a, a very good point there. Here we go. Careful shooter. But we don't want him shooting or doing melee. Construction at 7. 10 mining. Works well with plants. I mean, everything else is kind of eh. It's kind of iffy, but I think that we can work with this. That's the one. All right, we're going to name you. <clears throat> Not an oops. ostrich. One. Oh, it doesn't allow me to type numbers. <laughs> and then we'll call, I'll call you Mr. 43 Horses. Not an ostrich, silver, 43 horses. Hey, do you want to be the policeman so you can shoot him in case he acts up? We can, we can make Massey... Massey 910 over here. Massey Kish 910. <laughs> we can change this later, right? I, I believe we can. Oh, okay. We, we can change it now. We'll call it the Enforcer. Massey, the Enforcer 910. That's all right. It doesn't matter. We're going to name you the Chaos. Not an ostrich, the Chaos 43 at Horses. And I promised Mr. Squeaky he would get a name. So this time, I will fist fight something. <laughs> not with these stats or not. <laughs> not 10 is an important When I made this Twitch account, I never thought. So what do you want your last name to be? Nine one one, yeah! 
You're going to be the cop today. <laughs> not, not, not the fucking uh, mafia boss over here. All right, let's randomize this. Uh, we need a medical intellect. No, we ha we're going to have somebody who's intellectual. I will fist fight you. <laughs> Who do we have? What do we have? We have somebody. Okay, so not an ostrich is good at pan plants, uh, mining, and construction. We need a cook. A cook and a medical. Nah, we don't need that. I'm looking. I'm looking. Uh, we need somebody who can cook and somebody who's medical. We need those two stats. The intellectual's all right. Anybody can be intellectual. Honestly, with an intellectual status 7, we don't really need to worry about it too much. If we get it, we get it, but it's not that important to me. Jack Massey 911? All right. We'll go Jack... Massey. You're damn right, man. We told you we're, you're going to be the slave on this stream. Yeah, but it, I already have roles for you guys. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to put the roles on any uh, like any more roles. You guys already have enough. Like. I already have you at uh, shooting, melee, so you'll be doing a lot of hunting, and your social is 12, so you'll also be uh, being warden. We have this fool, <laughs> who's going to be construction and mining and uh, chopping down trees and plants and stuff. So I need, I need somebody who's decent. So you want to keep an intellectual? Because I was thinking that medical uh, cooking is really what I want, I want right now. Because I can't even basically make decent meals without something. Oh, that guy has a go juice addiction. Fuck that. Medical's all right, but... Let's see. Let's get that cooking up. Bye, <laughs> Rename Clutch to Message is gay. <laughs> hey, look, it's Otis Bowman. Hey, uh, hey, not an ostrich. Do you want to be the gay wreckage explorer? No, the uh, not, uh, Jack Massey is is already it's sealed deal. He's he's done. He he's not going anywhere. He's going to be the cannibal undergrounder. Oh hell no! <laughs> you could you could be you could be incapable of dumpling. No, we need a uh, we need we do need a hauler, especially for stone. Hmm. I think, uh, Iron Shield, she keeps on go going through thick and thin when others broke down long before. I mean, she's not capable of violence, but this is a good nurse because we know we're going to need one for not an ostrich's bullshit. Our cooking, though. This is actually a pretty decent build, though, I think. We're just lacking on the cooking department. We can get somebody else to do the cooking. I guess we'll have you cook for a little while, Jack, and, and then, uh...
Mr. Squeaky. Just for you, Mr. Squeaky. If you ever watch this on YouTube. <laughs> you probably will. Wait, how do I spell Squeaky? Is that how do you spell Squeaky? I think I, that's how you spell Squeaky. I'm pretty sure. I probably got that wrong. And we'll say the tuber. All right, Mr. Squeaky, you got that. All right, now we are on the way. Find a planter that can do cooking? Uh, I guess we have a planter here, but I guess we can find a planter that can do cooking. Planter cooking. Boom, there we go. <clears throat> the only problem with this is a slow learner, but I mean. Hey, look at your dad. <laughs> However, that fucking works. Wait, how old is uh, Jack? How is a 30 year old the father of uh, Jack Massey, 51? Oh, chronological age is eight uh, hundred and thirty-nine. Gotcha. That's right. I forget they're they're frozen. Well, we found it. We found Mr. Squeaky. Mr. Squeaky, the tuber. I think we have our colony. Took us a minute, but you know, that's what happens when you randomize everything. We're golden, we're going. Let's see what kind of bullshit they put me in. The three of you awake in your crowd sleep uh, sarcophagi to sounds of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. All right. First things first. Allow all these. Where are my people? Oh, yeah. They haven't landed. Is there anything else that I... Eh. What's a good cave? I think this area would be a good cave. How would we do that? I actually wondered about that. How would we even change that? Is it in the settings? animal names I've had on UI I don't think it says anything on it hmm I think this area would probably be the best right here This would be perfect. This is a big slab of land, if I've ever seen one. We're going to make cave people. This is the biggest land, mass, uh, land rock we have. I'll be completely honest here. On their profile, bio... probably be on their bio but they're not here yet so we can't do anything so let's go ahead and start this all right we found an area for you guys to habitat in for a little bit hey 
It said mountainous. I don't know why it didn't even, uh, <clears throat> why there's not a lot of mountains here. But you know, now that we have this big landmass here, we can make tunnels to go to like different areas. We can make make uh, rock tunnels to go into every se uh, uh, separate secret rock or part of rock and just go ahead and make caves everywhere. What the fuck are these, though? I've never seen these before. A Garelix? Whatever the fuck that is. All right. I'm remembering. I'm remembering. I'm, I'm trying to get used to all this. Keyboard's not my strong suit. 911, you need a gun. What is this? A plaque steel? And you also need that. So let's go ahead and unpause it real quick. Give you some flak pants. He's like, fuck those clothes. Damn, it took a minute to... Oh, okay. All right, who's my miner? This one's not going to be a whole lot of pausing because we'll be doing a lot of other stuff. That's right. Not an ostrich is going to be my miner. You're going to build a mountain, so. Orders are to mine. Where should we put the entrance? What do you think? Far right side? Yeah, I think the far right side's fine because we gotta bring, uh, bring all that stuff in. Hmm. See the exact north of where you are, there's a rocky, but isn't fully closed. Do you mind that it will reveal an area? Oh, this? This one right here, or this one right here? Cause this is the only one I see right here that's to the north. I don't, it seems like it's closed off. Cave living. Oh, where your ponds are. You're talking about this one right here? I guess we can do that. Hold on, let me cancel that. <clears throat> Ten tiles north to my ponds. So this area right here, huh? <laughs> oh, chaos. You think you're going to be uh, taking on big animals, but what you're really going to do is going to be my slave worker. We know it as well as everybody else. All right, so how would I go about this? Should I... Let's see. Okay. Let's see where this takes us. It's a mining slave.
In the meanwhile, I guess it wouldn't hurt to cut some wood. No, it looks like it just gave me just like a little space right here. And they're, they're pretty much uh... a... <laughs> the biggest animal would probably be a mega sloth. We know how that would work out for you. Okay, I see it now. Attack the mega sloth with squeaky. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. He wanted cruel punishment. <laughs> Are we starting chaos already? We haven't even established a base yet. All right, all right, we'll save. Hold on. Find this bit. This part right here? Okay. <laughs> I believe it is <laughs> squeaky. You know... Only reset to I, I I'm definitely gonna reset regardless. You can't send him to die and we haven't even built a place where he can medically rest. You're just getting out of control now, not an ostrich. There's gotta be rules to the game. The rules are if he doesn't have a bed to recover in, there's no way we can kill him. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking metal. Looks like we got quite a bit of uh, components out of that. I didn't realize you can mine components out of that. <laughs> we need to ban ostrich if we're gonna get anywhere near. Them. <laughs> Seriously, I have to. I ha we have to first build a base. <laughs> you have to be patient. Chaos waits. For something, okay? We have to at least have hospital beds before we start sending our people to die. Then after that, we could go and send send Mr. Squeaky off to go kill himself at the Mega Sloth's behest. Alright. So I'm guessing that was pretty much nothing in there, but we did get some components, which is good. That was a lot of components. I never actually got so many components in one sitting before. All right. Um, I guess we can hollow this area out a little bit. Uh, how would I go about this? We can mine out to here. Hmm. Or actually, I've never actually mined before. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I've never actually mined, so you kind of have to pre plan this a little differently than you would a building. It kind of makes my brain stretch out a little bit because I'm just like, oh. Oh, it's it's not not even close. We should probably get some people to cut some trees too. 
I know we got plenty of wood, but idle hands. And we could also kill a few wildlife, even though we don't have a fridge ready. We can definitely kill some. I think turkeys have the least amount of meat. So let's go ahead and hunt these. 9-11, I'm going to have you carry this. It's easier to hunt with. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is a whole different experience, to be honest. Like, <laughs> you have... Nope, nope, not even close. Let's go mine a pathway to here. There we go. I guess we could make the room a little big. Worker strike, huh? I wonder how that's going to work out for you. Seeing as Mr. Ostrich there isn't doing anything, he's just chilling. Did he just leave? Oh, okay. All right. Um, what else can we do? We can make some growing zones. Actually, let's deconstruct some of this shit so it can get out of my way. Borders, deconstruct. Get all the shit out of here. All of my way. Uh, what am I good at? Animals and or plants? I think animals. Not even sure. Since I can't grow on there. Potato field. Corn field. I think these may be a little too big. We can make... Dandelion lions right here. We'll keep the animals there. Architect. Structure. <clears throat> Not a big space. But it'll do. Look at you go, Mr. Chaos. All right, let's check. You are good at plants, just plants. And you're not even planting. <laughs> I'm past your bloodthirsty ways. Are you? Are you? I, I feel like this is just a setup for you to actually be bloodthirsty. <laughs> I know, right? Well, we could start off with a wood door and change it later. It's easier to disconstruct that anyway. Why do you keep on fighting horned animals? To prove that you're the best. And if we can make this whole area right here the dumping zone. Hey, 
And you are the best? <laughs> if you say so, sir. Damn it, man. We just don't want any fresh or rotten, just uh, chunks. No, no corpses. Well, yeah, corpses. I'm going to expand the zone eventually. Just got to get rid of all this stuff here. There is actually a pistol. But your shooting is uh not so good. And we did that on purpose because you are a horribly violent man. Why doesn't the police officer have a gun? He has a rifle. He's he was hunting earlier. Speaking of which, didn't he hunt? Where's Whoa, there's a mega spider? I've never seen those before. Mega spiders. Ooh. You know what? Keep it up. I'm going to send you after those mega spiders. Should definitely haul these out. <laughs> Why not? We love retaliating animals. I still have that record before we got ma uh, massacred, by the way. We still have the tribal record. It's not gone and lost. It's forever in our souls. Remember, we were saving before you were attacking things. So we still have the save before we destroyed the whole colony with your antics. <laughs> I don't think they were goats. I think they were something else. What were they? I don't even remember. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Yeah, we, we know what you were doing. Are you are you are you winning, son? Are you winning? Well, at least his mining's going up. <laughs> you wanted to. You wanted to hunt that caribou. It's about time you started doing something around here. All right, sweet. We haul those things out of there. Let's make our next entrance. Oh, we, this is just the bedroom. We got other things we're, we're, uh, we're trying to do here. Hmm. Actually, this is a little more difficult than I, I, I realized. Just a little bit. Hmm. I didn't realize I was going to have such a hard time with this. <laughs> I did not realize. This can be a kitchen. We only need a 3x3 three three for the kitchen, though. And then... I 
I guess we could put the food storage here. Nice and insulated. What? M E G A. You can spell. I had no idea you could spell, buddy. I had no clue. You can make an entrance to and from. And then we could put our regular storage. Right here. Ooh, caves. I think that'll pretty much do it. Seventy nine percent illiterate. Well, good sir. I don't know if there's any validity to that comment, but let me start off by saying this. <laughs> no, no, not even. And it would be a uh, twenty one percent, sir, to complete that one hundred, not thirty. I, I may be illiterate, but at least I can do math. Jesus Christ. Get it together, man. <laughs> That's a differential. I don't know, man. You tell me. Oh, yeah, I do need a stone cutter. I should probably work on that. What is this anyway? It's all slate. Take what? What am I taking? I'm trying to, but I'm also trying to construct here and come up with ways to not fuck up. We can put a butcher shop here. I'm coming up with brand new ways to start off my day. Look at Massey not doing it. He's patrolling the area, man. That's what he's doing. He's, he's doing what he's supposed to. Wait. A mad squirrel? There's nothing dangerous my ass. There's a mad squirrel just now. Mad squirrel. I guess he's not in my wildlife chat. A local squirrel has gone mad. It will attack everyone it sees. Uh, We should hunt it. We should definitely hunt that. I second what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Who, what, and what now? 
See, if he wasn't here, we'd all be dead. I draft. At the squirrel. <laughs> Seriously, man, what the hell? Got you. Good job, Mr. Policeman. I don't think he got injured out of the whole thing either. The damn squirrel. I'm glad it was just a squirrel. Now, what was I working on? I said I wanted a research table. <laughs> Wooden stuff inside of a, a cave. This is actually an interesting build. I actually uh, am quite surprised at how good this is going. We're going to do a field stove here. We should probably put some lights in here. Mega Slav. Oh! Why are they hitting each other? What the fuck? What? They started fighting! You and... Say it! You and Mr. Squeaky don't get along! What the fuck? Let's look at the social. The chaos called the tuber a hyena. This drove the tuber into a rage and he began a fight. What the fuck? <laughs> oh man, now I gotta make two medical beds. Son of a bitch. That was... <laughs> I don't know, man. According to here, it said Did you call tuber a hyena. So I think that was on you. At least you're taking care of them. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? We're trying to build shit here, and you guys are all fucking around. All right, I'll check the injuries. Health. You cracked his tibia and his left femur with your fists. And br and his sp you cracked his spine. What the fuck? Why would Tuber do this? Mr. Squeaky, you have caused me more issues. What the hell? What What are your health? He bruised... He cracked your spine and your humerus and bruised your le uh, right leg, torso, and right arm. You guys can self-tend your cells. You bastards. You left poor 9-11 to take care of himself. Shame on you guys. I can't believe that happened. They just started fist fighting each other.
I guess if we are making rooms like this, we can actually make this a room as well. Actually, hold on. We can, in fact, make this a, a crafting room. And put a door. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I can't believe the people I need to do the jobs punched each other out and broke each other's ribs. Take that squeaky. <laughs> what the fuck, man? We didn't even have to start shit. You just started on your own. I beat him up better. <laughs> Fucking it. 9 11 thinks we should give our faction a name. Well, is he even here right now? Old oh, people. We'll call them old people. And the settlement name? The Cave of Wonders. Are you guys going to just sleep all day? Is that what we're going to do? Ooh. Some thrombos. Well, if I had some working people, we'd probably be uh, taking care of business. I was hoping to find some slavers. You know, the best part about people coming in with slaves is that, like, I get more people from my colony. Murder? No, not yet. You guys are completely out of the game. You guys murdered each other. I have no idea why you would do that. Actually, let's see. What does 9-11 have? I mean, I want him to defend, but if he has the ability to do some kind of construction, we should let him do that. Until you guys recover. There we go. <laughs> it's fine. He can waste as much as he needs to. And we can also make a mine. <clears throat> I can't believe you did this to me. This is what I get for ha having somebody call somebody chaos. Chaos ensued. You called him a hyena. You dirty bastard. He is a hyena. How could you say that about him, man? Hmm. 
Yes, we do need a meal source, and that would be very nice to have. All Chaos and VTuber are doing is eating up all the food. While doing absolutely nothing! You know you can make him get up right now. Yeah, but I, I don't want him to do anything while he has injuries. He still has bruises. His right arm's better. I don't need more chaos ensuing because of you guys fist fighting each other. How dare you? Damn, he is slow. Oh no, I'm getting attacked! Shit. Oh, he's got a club. We got pistols! Fuck these guys! Looks like we got uh, 9 11's food source. I'm gonna have to draft you. And you're getting drafted, and you're going to pick up a piece, uh, pistol. VTuber's going to have to sit there because he can't fight nobody. Where's the Olga people? Hey, didn't know that these were there. Nice. There he is. I guess we're going to capture him. We'll put a bed here. I guess. I don't know. Where could we put his ass? I don't even have an extra bed. VT, you're going to have to get up. <laughs> we're going to capture that guy. What kind of injuries do you have right now? I think you're fine. You just got a couple of bruisings. They're not life-threatening or anything. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go ahead and... Furniture, furniture. You guys are going to sleep on the floor for now. Actually, no. We'll make him sleep on the floor. Fuck that guy. Move him. <laughs> I'll give him he wanted cruelty I'll give him prisoner
He's in serious pain right now. You got fucked up, man. We definitely should make a prisoner that's not in my damn cell. The biggest animal in there. That would be the Mega Sloth. Still hasn't changed. Send Squeaky. Squeaky is building my house. We 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 haven't even fully built a prison yet, which we will. We will definitely build a prison. Matter of fact, we're gonna go ahead and build a prison right now. Prison camp. Come on, he's healed. Just say. <laughs> You would say that, wouldn't you? Fine, I will save and send him to his doom real quick. But it's, I don't know why you want to do it. I'm not going to leave him like this. I, I have to finish the, the settlement before we do anything. He needs to build the house. I'll drag his bot. No, no, we can't do it yet. We, we, we have a prisoner right now. We, we got to make sure that somebody's taking care of the prisoner. He, you can't be taking care of him and everything else. <laughs> Matt is the best one social. He is. He is definitely the best social. <laughs> Did you just unfollow me again? Low medicine. Oh, we got to remedy that. We got some medicine over here. Medicine over here. Oh, I know you're angry. We can't send anybody to... We haven't even finished. The last time we at least finished the settlement. We haven't even finished the settlement yet, and you're already trying to kill people. How am I going to get anywhere? Nobody can heal. Nobody's going to be able to do anything because you're trying to kill them off. How are we supposed to get shit done? He will definitely die. Have you seen his stats? That guy can't fight anything right now. Let's see. Uh, production... <laughs> I'll be reset if he gets main period. <laughs> it's not a win-win. We haven't even got anything done yet. I don't even have food. How are we supposed to get anywhere if we can't even get food yet? Did I make a whole potato field without getting fucking hay grass? Holy shit. Alright, uh, let's see. Miscellaneous... Head marker. The only one who will be getting any kind of food will be 9-11. <laughs> you haven't even looked for anything to tame yet. Actually, let's go ahead and send you off to go tame some alpacas. Be useful. I 
I guess we should probably, uh, let's see, orders. I guess this could be my refrigerated area if I'm being completely honest. It's more insulated than that. So we're gonna go ahead and make, make this slightly bigger. Just slightly. It's not finished. We still have to make that prisoner for the prisoner food. The prison is literally sleeping in my storage area. <laughs> you would. You would say something like this. Oh yeah, I should probably uh, make this non-medical. Everybody's healed up. Hooray! Minor risk break. All right. Now that we have the uh, freezer stuff built up, let's see. Got to do a zone. Stockpile zone. We'll make this. Oh, let's see, we'll do it for corpses, no building material, no apparel, no weapons, no items, no stone blocks. We have any, we we want to put medicine in here. Would that be uh, manufacturing? No textile. Okay, yeah, medicine. No mortar shells. Raw resources. Yeah, I think we got it. I think I think that's good. Don't allow rotten. We got a lot of human like. I, me too. He, you probably upset him, man. You probably upset him. <laughs> Who's gonna break? Oh, nine eleven's gonna break. Darkness, disturbed sleep, eight without a table, sweaty, awful barracks, hideous environment, malnourished, recreation star. Damn. All right. He's he's going to start shooting people in a minute if we don't get something to help him release his, uh, relieve his stress. Let's give him. A schedule. <clears throat> Work four hours, work four hours, work four hours, recreation, recreation. I guess everybody really needs to schedule. If we should build a chess table. This was going to be the recreation room anyway. And some horseshoes. My good friend. Yes, what's up? Faithful companion. Whoa. <laughs> It's getting a little deep there, buddy. Would you fight a mega sloth? I told you what we needed to do first. We have to have a medical room. 
We don't even have a hospital yet, and you're sitting there wanting to go attack some random monster without even setting up. We need a hospital for your crazy antics. There's no, no, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. If we don't get a hospital built for your crazy antics, our colony will not survive. Ever. And how are you supposed to do more crazy uh, antics if people are dead? It's literally impossible. You want me to save, but not reload the save if they're not horribly dead. But we have no way for anybody to recover. I can't keep using our beds. You, I know you want to see a Mega Sloth fight. I know. It's what you always wanted. <laughs> Fine, reset no matter what. Fine. If that's if if you're if you're allowing me to reset no matter what, I will allow a Mega Sloth fight. Who who do you want to fight a Mega Sloth? Do you want V two a tuber to equip something and fight a Mega Sloth? We'll we'll give him a plasteel knife. We'll draft him. Where's the wildlife around here? He wants suffering. <laughs> All right, and we'll slow it down so you can actually see it in real time. His death. We'll look at his health as he... Or actually, we'll look at the log. The best way to see a fight. All right, VTuber. Show us what you got. This is not going to last long. Oh, damn! V All right, so... VTuber used his knife blade to chop the Mega Sloth, slashing his body and rear left leg. <laughs> oh, to tear uh, the uh, tuber, lacerating his torso and right shoulder. The tuber gashed the Mega Sloth in front of uh, in the front right painfully. The Mega Sloth tore the uh, tuber in the left leg. The tuber flailed while trying to slash the Mega Sloth with his knife's blade. Mega Sloth Scratch View Tuber, wounding his neck and head and leaving a horrific wound. The tuber dropped thanks to the scratch in the head. Yeah, he he The neck did him in. He is bleeding 204%. If he if he was to ever survive bleeding death in four hours. Can we watch him die? Yeah, we can watch him die. It's slow ble bleeding death. It's a Mega Sloth Revenge! Oh, shit. Yeah, we definitely couldn't save this. He's coming for everyone. Do you want to watch the whole colony die up in flames? Alright, the Mega Sloth is coming. What kind of injuries does he have? Just knife cuts. He's not even hurting. The knife cuts did nothing to him. All right. Where's he going? He's going to go save his buddy. Look at you, man. You're, you're going off to save the tuber. We have to kill him. Oh no! Damn! That didn't take it very long at all. Come on, come on! Get 
Get his ass. That didn't last very long, did it? Greyhound, pick up the gun. Save the tribe. He's coming. No, Greyhound! Shoot him! Damn. And that was the end. Not Berserk Rogue, what is this? Oh shit, Berserk Rogue! He's going- the dog's even fighting! He said, fuck you, Me Mega Sloth. Damn, even killed the dog. <sighs> that poor dog didn't deserve this. Let's see his stats. What happened what happened to our our, our poor little doggy? He was gonna avenge everyone. Apparently malnutrition killed him the worst though. <laughs> Oh man, death in three hours, death in four hours. <laughs> Torn off a right pinky middle finger and thumb. <laughs> oh man, this is horrible. What will happen? Nothing happened. Where are we going? Mole people. <laughs> we cannot outlive the sloth. And that, my friend, is what happens when you attack a Mega Sloth. I love how nobody's cleaning up in here. Go, Tuber! Oh shit, he's breaking shit. He's lost his damn mind. Damn. He just literally committed suicide. Okay, we kind of have to do something about his uh, mental state. <laughs> we have to do something. Maybe change your schedule to break. You need a day off. <laughs> Got his legs off? It's a medical procedure. Well, we got to build the hospital first. All right, Mr. Ostrich, I will see you later. Take it easy, man. All right, it's already 11 o'clock and uh, the stream will might be over soon. This is not a bad uh, little thing that I started here, though. We will build a hospital. 
where we can get Newt out of my damn storage room. Needs. Starving. Well, that's not good. Maybe kill a turkey? Who can kill a turkey right now? Where the hell is uh, 9-11? Well, at least it didn't break and start breaking everything. Gotta add the build to butcher creatures forever. Add a build to cook simple meals. Until you have... 15. Oh, okay. Um, so, not an ostrich left. Not uh, not so sooner that we killed everybody with a mega sloth, but we, we saved beforehand. We're good. Um... So right now I have the prisoner sleeping in my storage room, so I can't store anything until we build the prison right here. And then we're building a hospital right here. We have the freezer right here, nice and insulated all the way around. We have the recreation area right here. We have a horseshoe here, a stable here, dump site here, plants here. So that's pretty much where we're at. We're doing pretty good. It's looking like a pretty decent cave colony. Got a lot of things done. 9 11 broke and started breaking shit, so I had to restart the save. <laughs> he was stressed because he was hungry. Why? It sucks that the miner is the cook. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I was thinking probably through here, possibly. That's true. I do have electricity. I guess we can mine uh, right here for the cooler. I keep forgetting we're not in cave uh, caveman times. Structure. We gotta make some beds over here. We're not structure. Hospital beds. Right now, should do okay. We should make you be all right, cool. I guess we could put A wind turbine right here.
Major Brick. <laughs> what, what what are you what is going on with you, man? Just outdoors, disturbed sleep, sweaty, slept in the heat, awful barracks, ugly environment, and <laughs> man, starvation. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying, man. But nobody's hauling dead bodies. A berserk knew. I guess we need to uh, take care of business. <laughs> Break my stuff, Mr. New. Yeah, it says transport crash. That guy is pretty much dead. He didn't last very long. Oh, you know what? I guess he could technically consume him. Because he's a cannibal. I forgot that 9-11 is a uh, uh, cannibal. Go eat your food, buddy. It'll put you in a better mood. Go fucking eat his ass. There you go. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to put his ass in the fridge. <laughs> I know. I'm always bad about it. Especially when I'm trying to build stuff on hyperspeed. I start like focusing on uh, everything going around me after I finish building the basics. But I always forget. All right. Architect. We need... There we go. That's true. Uh, let's see. What should we start on? I guess smithing would probably be the best way to go. We could do battery. Yeah, we do need a battery. Because if I'm going to build a windmill, I need a battery. Production, power. We'll throw the generator there. And then we'll run. <laughs> it's going to be open wires everywhere. I didn't know you can run uh, electricity through there. Eh. Hmm. Right here seems to be okay. <laughs> the tuber ate the fucking body, too. I didn't know he was a... I didn't know he was a cannibal. I didn't say he was a cannibal. He was just eating him. What the fuck? They're eating his ass. Oh, 
Let's see. Oh, wow. That's a big ass mountain area. Damn, dude, you are going all out. This is fucking sick. Oh, that's fucking awesome, man. Yeah, that's pretty fucking fly. I'm not going to lie. That's impressive. Kitchen plus fluid storage are on edge for easy access. Huh. Well, I got the I got my rec room here. I haven't put anything crafting wise here though. It's not a really big room. I don't really get a lot of area for stuff. I still have this area that I haven't touched. But I don't know. I might change this into a, an actual room room sometime later, and then make a cra I, I don't know. I haven't decided where. But that like when I saw your design, it kind of shocked me. I'm like, God damn! <laughs> I was like, shit. can make actually I don't want there Huh. That's true. You would probably want it to uh, be like. You would probably want that to be like close to where your stockpile is. Because smelting metal and uh, cutting stone takes time. So he put his room right next to it. Did he die? Oh, damn. I guess we can uh, do human like corpses. <laughs> Yes, we got food now.
Well, so much for my prisoner area. We can finally put the storage. I think that should be good for this. All right, it's starting to look decent halfway. So should I make a bedroom for 9-11 uh, right next to the barracks? So that way he would have access to being a warden? That would make sense. <laughs> Raw cannibalism made him go crazy. Another one? All right, we should probably hunt. Sorry, Alpaca, I was gonna tame you, but we're gonna have to kill you. Also, we're Pretty much short on wood, so we don't have an electricity going here. So we need to chop some wood. For now, anyway. So we get a battery gun for this thing. Let's see, hour. Oh yeah, you did say that. I didn't have a lot of room for this. I put it right next to the kitchen. I think I might move it here. Maybe expand this area a little bit and then put the butchering cable table here and then I could put something else here. <laughs> yeah, he's going nuts. Don't let him near you, Tuber. The last time he went crazy on you. wrong with him is he gonna go off and kill himself oh snap he's going he's going to the spider nest I didn't know I could do that. Get out of there, dude. It's a spider's nest.
<laughs> Everybody's going nuts over starvation. I gave you guys to something to hunt. Jesus. <laughs> They're going nuts on each other. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. At least he's gone to hunt. <laughs> That's too funny. That's pretty cool. I never thought about planting cro uh, crops in the white area. Wait. No, 9 11 died. Damn it, man. Did the dog just eat him? Wow. <laughs> I think this was a flop. Anyways, guys, thanks for coming by. I, I'm going to end it here because uh, there's pretty much nothing to do. Oh, okay. Building in mountains is pretty difficult. I'll definitely have to practice that, but that seems like pretty good stuff. I'll definitely have to give that a shot, for sure. I never even really thought about building inside a mountain before, so I didn't actually get the idea. Like, I didn't even think about it until you said something about it. But uh, I do have to end the stream because it is already almost time for me to get going. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, Massey910. Of course, uh, not an ostrich, too. You're not here. Mr. Squeaky, shout out for you. Uh, thanks for uh, watching all my YouTube videos. Appreciate it very much. I am out of here. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It's, it's difficult because you have to carve it inside. That's that's what really like got me thinking. It's like you really have to pre-plan everything. Like on the pause pause, you have to pre-plan everything before you start building stuff, and you have to be kind of methodical about it. You take care too, man. I am out of here. Um, don't forget to subscribe and follow if you haven't done so already. All my links are provided. Um, it's it helps me out greatly and supports the stream and my YouTube videos. So. By all means, please check them both out. If you haven't seen any of my other games, YouTube is the best place to go. If you want to watch me live, come to and visit me on Twitch. I'm always willing to conversate. Massey's been here. He's awesome. He's always helping out with RimWorld and stuff, and he likes to come by and watch my other stuff too. Oh, and uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Squeaky on YouTube always giving me suggestions as well. I appreciate that. I am grateful. You guys are awesome. Anyways, I'm out of here. I will catch you at 9 o'clock later on tonight. I don't know what I'm going to play yet.